We took as an example of a typical cleanliness operation a completely high pressure system installed on the ground floor of a sugar and alcohol industry. When the evaporators and heater exchanges are located far away from the high pressure equipment, the water discharged by the pump is distributed by a net made of mechanic tubes. Areas of service are strategically positioned around the industry. In each settled point is possible to connect rules and accessories which will be used for the cleanliness of the equipment. These areas of services consist on threaded clamps with a protective bung. After selecting the point more suitable for the equipment to be cleaned, a DN20 high pressure hose with approximately 20 meters length is connected to the point which has been previously chosen. On the other extremity of the DN20 hose is used a water flow distributor, which has one inlet connection and three outlets. This device is positioned near the entrance of evaporators and heater exchangers to be cleaned. At the water distributor's outlet, a DN8 high pressure hose is connected. This kind of hose, the DN8, permits an easier work because it's more flexible, light and thin. Due to the necessity of internal cleanliness of the tubes, Suitable accessories are used, such as lenses with protectors and rotating nozzles. In general, an operator using one lens can clean approximately 500 tubes per hour. In the area of the evaporator, two or three operators can work at the same time. It's necessary to bear in mind that during the cleanliness, the consume of water is about 30 liters per minute at 1000 bar working pressure. For the desired working pressure, it's necessary to have a number of lenses compatible with the total water flow discharged by the high pressure pump. In order to maintain the level of sugar production, and also the thermal exchange in the heaters, the cleanliness procedure must be repeated 